Hello guys, Nikki here in the Scarborough Junction neighborhood. Now this track right here is where the GO Train Stouffville line runs. And when you go just up up north here, you get you get to Kennedy Station. Now right here I'm on the corner of Midland and uh, Danforth Avenue. So yeah, this is the GO Train line. Now there aren't any trains coming right now. But this right here is the railway crossing. It looks a little old school. You know, you don't see many of those in the city of Toronto, except in this neck of the woods. But anyways, I just ate at the McDonald's over there. Now, it's kind of funny, because if you look just over there, there's no there's no fencing. Like, like really, there's, there's no fencing over there. And anyone could just walk off the sidewalk and walk onto the tracks. But obviously, just because there's no fence does not mean that you can just walk onto the, that you're allowed to just walk onto the tracks. It does make it more accessible. I mean, obviously, that's the way railroad tracks are like in the countryside. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if the, but at the same time, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? That's the McDonald's, the, the, the one I just ate at, that's the McDonald's you can see from the GO train when you're riding the GO train between Scarborough and Kennedy Station. Now, Stouffville Line traces the uh, Lakeshore East Line, but then after, uh, just after you get to Scarborough, the tracks uh, separate, they break off, so the Stouffville Line will come up here to Kennedy and we'll go past the, and we'll go back past that McDonald's there. I'm kind of tempted to go for a walk in that neighborhood just over there. I don't see any cross. There's no. I'm a little too lazy to go all the way over there to the crosswalk. Okay, maybe I'll just make a run for it. snowing a little bit right now. They were saying on the news that um, nowadays the GO trains have to leave the station one minute prior to departure time. And the reason why they're doing it is because whenever they rely on their normal schedule, it'll cause a delay because the conductors have to look to make sure that everybody has gone on and off the train and you know you sometimes you see people running for the train and the train can't leave yet and it causes a delay so this is why they're gonna do it they're gonna say last call for the doors then so that uh, like a month uh, a minute before the train leaves and then after the train leaves then after that the, the doors are closing oh I can hear a train coming. Oh my goodness. I can hear that that railroad crossing thing. Uh the you know that that ding 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 sound that the railroad crossing makes. There's a train coming and it's on the Stovall line. Where is it going? Is it going to Kennedy or is it going to or is it going uh back to Union? I'm going to guess it's going to go to Kennedy. It's a Kennedy bound train. Now this street has a dead end right here. Oh, I can hear it coming. Oh, no, it's actually going to south towards Union. Oh my goodness, I get to get an up close view to the train. 653. So that's an MPI, MP40, PH3C. Because it's under 666, so... Uh, that's one way I could tell. <sighs> well, it is. It does. It is pretty cool. It's a little bit of a pity that I that I didn't see any trains coming earlier because it would be really cool to see a go train running along Midland Avenue in the area where there's no fence. 
like honestly if i was still on midland avenue instead of here i'd be pretty amused you know like i mean i couldn't see the go train while i was at mcdonald's because there was a truck blocking the way but yeah the being able to see the go train where there's no fence that excites me oh wait i'm on i'm on somebody else's property i can't do that i didn't realize <sighs> i know i got a little excited but unfortunately there's the street has a dead end well I think this is as fast as I'm going to walk right now. Sometimes you just don't know when that train is going to come. The funny thing with GO trains is... You may think that it's not going to come anytime soon. You look both ways and you don't see a train in sight. And everything is so quiet, you know. It's completely quiet, no train in sight. And then all of a sudden, you hear a... You hear the sound of the, you hear the dinging sound. You look to your right or your left and you see a train light all the way at the end. And before you know it, it's already closer. Well, the thing is they run pretty fast. So they pretty much come when you least expect it. Like, it kind of reminds me, yeah, me talking about how fast those trains run, it kind of reminds me of the time when I got startled when I was making the video of the depths of snow from last year. Because a year ago today, we had a we had a bunch of snow, like, that's so when we had our huge snowfall. And, and then I made a video of walking in the snow, then lying down, and then as soon as that train comes, it kind of woke me up. Well, mind you, I was already awake, but it was kind of interrupting my peace. But there you go. All right. Maybe I'll go for a walk right, right here. This is basically a car dealer neighborhood. There's a lot of dealerships here, a lot of gas stations. Now, I was plan I'm I'm really uh, planning to end the video where the TTC Birch Mount Division garages, because I'd like to visit that. I mean, I'm not going to go on the property because I'm not allowed to do that. But uh, I think it'll be smart if I, you know, end my video there. And I know just how to get there. Wow, look, there's a lot of mud here. Hmm. I don't even know. I have a, I, I'm having problems making up my mind in this video. I'm too lazy to go all the way back over there. Well, you know what? Maybe I can, if I have to, maybe I can film a separate video because I don't want to waste my time. Like, I know sometimes I was planning to come back another day just to make up for it, just to make up for me not being able to. But the thing is, Scarborough was so far away and if I'm already in the general area, it's better than I do whatever I want right now. So that way I can get it off my back. Oh wait, I can see the dead end sign from over here. Obviously that dead end sign looks like some sort of a checkerboard. Well, there's no use going all the way over there if there's not gonna be another train coming anytime soon. So maybe I'll just uh, merge back onto the the noisy street and take it from there already almost at 10 minutes all because I've been walking back and forth I wasn't even walking that far and I'm almost at 10 minutes oh well I know where I'm going anyways 
thing is, I don't like to prolong my videos because, you know, of my iPhone storage being backed up. Like, because I have a problem with the storage, it's, uh, my videos get interrupted and you know how, how upset it makes me. This trail leads you up to somebody's backyard, but technically it's private property, so I'm not gonna go all the way over there. Well, I don't know, I feel like I've gotten some exercise already, because when I got off the GO train at Scarborough Station, I was basically running or jogging just for exercise, you know. Not that I'm in a hurry to be anywhere, but, you know, just uh, to get some remaining energy out of me. Because obviously, when you have energy, you gotta use it, right? You don't wanna let it build up inside of you. Those look like nice houses here. I mean, I like the way the doors are designed, but I'm not crazy about the fact it's made of bricks, or um, or that type of brick, I should say. Obviously, all homes are, all houses are made of bricks. Pretty much, at least. Well, my video's already prolonged, all because I've been walking through the neighborhood for at least almost 12 minutes. What's that sound? Is that another GO train I hear? I think it is. I can hear another GO train. But by the time I, by the time I get back onto the street, I will miss it because they, like I said, they run fast. So yeah, if you guys are ever taking the GO train, make sure you get to the, don't wait until last minute to get on the train. Like, cause that train is gonna set off for departure one minute before it leaves. Well, that train that, that I just heard was probably going from Union Station towards Kennedy. I kind of wish I lived in this neighborhood just so I can watch the GO trains. I know I already live somewhere where I can see the GO trains from my own home, but despite the fact that they can be noisy, I find it amusing living right beside a train track. Just because I love GO trains, I'm a transit fan. So that's that. I can imagine myself sitting on in my backyard having a backyard campfire and watching the go trains at the same time but unfortunately that's not my life i kind of like it in etobicoke by the way i mean i like scarborough as well but etobicoke is my home that's uh that's uh, the the borough of toronto that i am more familiar with so anyways, this here is Danforth Road, or, no, this is, okay, so I, I think Danforth Avenue turns into Danforth Road. I think, I'm not exactly sure where, but it's kind of like how Spadina Avenue turns into Spadina Road when you get just north of Bloor Street. And it basically does the same here on Danforth. I feel like every time I come here to Scarborough, it's always cloudy. Like whether it's Scarborough or North York, like it's usually cloudy every time. Okay, that garbage can is a little bit in the way. That The garbage truck has, should come and pick this stuff up. I mean, it's Friday, so... Usually, something tells me that Friday's garbage day. But what do I know, of course? Hey, look at that place 
landscape over there. That playground. You know, my school had a playscape designed exactly like this one. I'm not gonna tell you what the name of my school was, but that playscape right there, the structure, it was designed exactly the same. Like, no kidding. Now, the, the Canada flag here is at half mast. I know there's a meaning to it, but I forget what it is. I forget what it means. Like, you know, when. Like if the, the flag is at half mast, it kind of means something, but I completely forgot forgot what it is. I'm almost on St. Clair Avenue. Now, I was actually planning to come out here yesterday, but the weather was so bad, I, I had to stay home. Like, like yesterday it was so rainy, it was cloudy, and well, it was, it was rainy, but also very windy. So obviously I just stayed home, however, uh, I did go out, I did go to Costco yesterday. My mom and I shopped there and I pretty much had a great time. But at least it gets me out of the house, you know, but that, but you know, while I was there, while I was getting out of the car, walking towards Costco, oh look, there's an abandoned mattress there. Like, it was just so windy and so unbearable. And I was saying to myself, oh my gosh, thank goodness I did not come out to Scarborough today. Like, it was just so bad. But, it's nicer now, at least. But, another thing is though, every time it rains in the winter, like in January or February, I always say to myself, it's January, it's supposed to be snowing, not raining. But we live in a type of climate where it can rain any time of the year. So obviously, despite the fact that January is the coldest month of the year, it can still rain, just like in July. But I always picture the opposite. I, every time it rains, I always think to myself, hmm, if, it, if only it was snowing. And while I was on the VIA train going towards Windsor, Ontario, um, I, as I rode the VIA train past the countryside, I was thinking to myself, wow, it's, if only there was snow on the ground, if only this whole field was covered in snow, like, it's, like it was raining that day, but if only it was, if, if it was snowing and everything was covered in snow, it would be like riding a VIA train through a winter wonderland. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. But it's a pity it wasn't. But obviously, the weather is not something we can change. Now, how do I get to Birchmouth Division Garage, is it? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to walk. I'm supposed to keep walking on Danforth. Because uh, because I know uh, Birchmount Yard is Birchmount Division Yard is on Danforth Avenue. Oh well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I can see the go station from here. See this? Yeah, that's. That's Scarborough Go Station. I'm pretty far sighted. I can see things from far away.
Oh, there's a go train. I see a go train uh, departing on the commuter rail. Oh well, it's far away, so I'll just cross the street. So this here is St. Clair Avenue East. Now St. Clair is a funny street because you see, with St. Clair, you know, we all know about St. Clair Avenue West, where Stockyards is and whatnot, right? It starts at uh, Scarlet Road, and it keeps going east, I think until like Mount Pleasant or something. But then all of a sudden, St. Clair breaks off, and it doesn't start again until, until you get to like Bayview or whatnot. That's just a wild guess, but uh, we know... Like, St. Clair is not like Eglinton or Finch. It it breaks off. Same with Lawrence. And same with Keel. Like, streets like Eglinton or Finch, it doesn't break off. It just goes smoothly from the west end all the way to the east end. By the way, Warden Subway Station is not far from here because it's on St. Clair Avenue East. And it's, it's not on Danforth Road, it's a little bit west of here. But I do know that it's not too far from Scarborough Go Station. And there's the 113 Danforth bus. You guys can, cannot see it, but I can. Wait a second, am I even walking in the right direction? Now I'm on Kennedy Road. Oh, wait, wait, I, I'm pretty sure I'm walking in the right direction. Yeah, because the McDonald's, I was, the, the video, I started the video on Mid Midland Avenue after I ate at McDonald's, and, and I know Kennedy's just west of Midland. I'm not going to make the light. I just won't. And I'm too lazy to run, because if I run, my side will start to hurt. Like, sometimes, a lot of times when I run or when I'm active all the time, like my side will actually hurt and it'll make me feel like it makes me feel like I have kidney disease or something I don't know why that is but uh, it's really painful I mean I can only tell because I had a drink with my food as well as you might know so it's you know it's not really good to run after having having a drink or maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, now it's my turn. So obviously Birchmount Road is a, is getting closer because Birchmount is in between Kennedy and Warden. That I see a bridge over there. That's probably where that uh, go that's probably the go train, uh, the overpass of the go train line. Wow, look at that church over there. Man, that's that's like the smallest church I've ever seen. And it's so old school. Yeah, really, like, it looks more like a house than a church, to be honest. Like, you could probably live there. Not literally, but still, it's, it's the size of a house. Wow, so many dealerships in this area. My brother told me that uh, there's nothing good in the East End after I mentioned that I want to explore the East End, but I disagree with him. I mean, okay, there's maybe not a whole lot of stuff to do, but for transit fans, there is something good in the East End. You can't say nothing good just because I don't live here, okay? Like, for example, Toronto Zoo is, like, at the very edge of Toronto, and that's that's a pretty good place. But, yeah, I, I guess he's sort of right. Like, there's not a whole lot of stuff to do. Same with Windsor, Ontario. 
Okay, you go to Windsor. It's not like, Windsor's not like Toronto, okay? There's not a whole lot of stuff to do. So, because, uh, you know, I mean, Windsor is quite an interesting city because that's the city where the border is, but yeah, it's kind of like Scarborough, Toronto. By the way, I'm actually going away again in March. And you guys will find out later because I'll give you, because I'll talk about it again when we get closer to the, to the date. But yeah, in, in March, I'm going to Miami, Florida. And yes, I will make sure that I film on there. I will definitely do vlogs down there. So I'm more excited about my trip to Miami than my trip to Windsor. Because obviously there's going to be more stuff to do down in Miami, Florida. And like it's a bigger city, there's more stuff to do. And they even have a monorail down there. They basically call it a metro mover, but the transit system down there is called Miami Day Transit. So I'm really excited and I can't wait. So there you have it, guys. So I, at least, so anyways, am I still on the right road? Danforth Road? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I still am. Because I know uh, Danforth Road goes uh, diagonally south until you hit like uh, Victoria Park or Warden or something, you know. I think I think it goes down all the way until Birchmount. A lot of my family members and even you know. Even people, even some of my friends have been asking me, oh, how is Windsor? What did you do there? What did you do? Well, I don't like to admit that I've been walking around because people are going to think, wow, really? You went to Windsor just so that you could walk around? That's, that's boring. I mean, it, it really doesn't hurt to be honest, but the thing is, Windsor was, is one of the places that I wanted to live in, all because it's, uh, it can be significantly warmer down there than in Toronto. I mean, if you go like if you go to Windsor in April, sometimes because of Lake Ontario, if you go to Windsor, it'll be like 14 degrees warmer than it is here in Toronto. So, like they they have the tendency to see 27 degree weather. It can be 27 degrees centigrade in April down there. In fact, Windsor, Ontario, even hate hit. 28 degrees in March in 2012. This is so unimpressive. Really? 28 degrees in March? It's a little bit shocking. And that never happens in Toronto, ever. Which makes me jealous because we live in the same country and province as Windsor. But two things to keep in mind. We're closer to the lake and we're north of, we're much, uh, well, yeah, we're north of Windsor, we're on a higher latitude, and we're closer to Lake Ontario. I mean, it's... The Essex County is close to Lake St. Clair, but obviously Lake, Lake St. Clair is not one of the Great Lakes. And I guess the water in Lake St. Clair isn't, that, isn't as cold as Lake Ontario. I, I remember swimming in Lake Ontario before, and oh my gosh, the water was incredibly cold. Like... It was so cold you can't even swim. Like, you, I put my foot in the water and, and I'm like, eh, that's it, I'm out. Cause I hate cold water. I hate swimming in cold water. You step in and, I mean, obviously I'd be a coward if I were to run away every time, I, every time the water wasn't as warm as I wanted it to be. Cause the standard temperature for swimming like you walk in and okay yes it's going to be a little bit cold when you walk in but once you get used to it it's not too bad but with lake ontario you're never going to get used to it it's so freezing cold you step in and then five minutes later it's still unbearable so you walk out 
which is why I'm never going to swim in Lake Ontario ever again. I don't trust the, the water temperature. There's an Italian flag up there. Happy Valentine Day. Isn't it Valentine's Day? With an S at the end? Maybe it doesn't really matter, who knows? Wow. Yeah, a lot of garbage here. Yeah, on Earth Day, which is in April, I doubt, I, well, I have no doubt that there's gonna be people coming here to clean this up, because the Earth Day tradition, you grab a garbage garbage bag and gloves, you, you go around picking up garbage. Obviously, I'd pick up garbage right around here. Like, I think this, like, look at this mess. This place could, this, this place really could use a cleanup. You can fill your garbage bag just by picking up garbage around here on Earth Day. So anyways, I, I think I made it. And so far, nothing interrupted me. There's a burger place right here. And there's a pizza pizza coming up. Aha, I see the street sign, Birchmount Road. And Pizza Pizza was founded in 1967, it says. I like their slogan, hot and fresh. Yeah, it is hot and fresh. You know, the pizzas actually taste better when you eat inside than when you order it. Like, my family, we order pizza sometimes, but it doesn't taste as good as actually walking in and ordering yourself a slice. It's just, because uh, obviously the fresher the pizza, the better it tastes. This is why whenever we do order pizza, I don't like to eat the leftovers the next day. I, I just stuff myself, you know, the same day just to avoid having to eat leftovers because we all know that the day after it's not gonna taste as good and it's not gonna be the same. Sun Valley, this supermarket looks a little bit old school to me. Okay, now that I'm on Birchmount Road, where's the TTC division? I know it's gotta be here somewhere. I know it's in this general area. You're not fooling me. I will find you. Oh, that's just a truck. I was kind of wondering about that, uh, that uh, howling sound from the distance. But no, that's just a truck. 8475. Yep. Nova bus LFS. What route is it? I'm gonna guess it's 113. Oh wait, the crosswalk is already is already showing. That's no, that's not 113, that's 69. Well, 68 and 69 is a little bit confusing because 68 is Birchmount, uh, I mean 68 is Warden, 69 is Warden South. 
and it's obviously one number higher than another. 68 Warden, 69 Warden South, you know, it's a little bit, uh, it can be a little confusing sometimes. Same with the 111 and 112. You see 111 is Z small and 112 is West small. One time I ended up getting on the 112 instead of the 111 all because I got confused. Because these those routes have similarities and it's just one number higher than another, you know? Anyways, I see it. I hear I see it. Birch Mount Division. There's a Tim Hortons across the street. I mean, anybody who works inside that division garage, they could just go across the street and go to Tim Hortons and grab a coffee. It just makes it so convenient. There's only one bus there? Really? Well, I made it. Birch Mount Garage. Maybe this will be my thumbnail opportunity after I end this video. Just, just to take a picture of the Birch Mount uh, Division Garage. Well, actually, no, no. I think it'll make more sense if I take a thumbnail opportunity of, uh, of uh, the intersection because the intersection of uh, Danforth and Birch Mount. Because obviously, I don't want to. I don't like to mislead viewers or confuse them because if they see in the thumbnail, if the title is called Walking. Uh, the Danforth Avenue, blah blah blah. And then they see the Birchmount Division in the thumbnail. They're gonna, they're gonna be thinking, wait, how does that? What does that? How does that correlate? You know? You, that looks like sewage water. Well, obviously it's just mud. Just to be realistic. Here I am, I made it. Now this is 7950, it's used as a Toronto events support, Toronto events support. Now, the, the uh, low 7900s, like 7900 to 7905, and I think 7937 or 7955, they're used for Toronto police training. So, this is why they have that gray livery on the side. But obviously, overall, division. this division is boring because there's literally nothing but Novas in here. Of course, you could probably see some of Queensway's uh, former Nova bus LFSs after they all moved to Birch Mount. Then, oh my god, the emission smells so awful. All because of that car with that powerful engine that drove by. Blech. So as I was saying, yeah, like, now all of the three 300s, they took over. They're now, all the three 300 buses are in Queensway Division taking over their place. So that's why all the eight 400s, they all moved here. But anyways, I, without further ado, I think I'll uh, conclude this video. So if you guys enjoy this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.